What is up guys, Petrie Jones here. Today I'm gonna to be going over the NZXT Kraken Z63 AIO liquid cooler, which I have installed in the computer behind me. Now this is the seventh generation of AIOs from NZXT. They definitely make high quality parts and components, and they do come with a significantly higher price tag in comparison to some competitors on the market. Now this cooler itself is listed at 250 to 280 USD, which is significantly higher uh, than another AIO, which likely performs just as well. But what you're paying for here is the 60 millimeter LCD display, which gives you a myriad of customization options and aesthetic options, which some individuals may find uh, reasonably priced. I'm gonna go into whether or not I think it's worthwhile for you to pay that price tag for what you get in terms of customization and user experience. Now, this is a 280 millimeter configuration. Keep that in mind if you have a smaller case. I have a DLM21 by Dark Flash and I actually scratched the radiator trying to get it as a front uh, mounted configuration and can only comfortably fit it uh, in the top. So again, if this is something that is a little bit too big for your case, you really need to keep that in mind um, and avoid the hassle that would be associated with that. Now, the uh, in terms of the components themselves, uh, they're very well made and of high quality. The radiator is an aluminum uh, a built radiator, as you would expect. It feels durable, sturdy, um, and solid and it comes with air p140 static pressure fans which are really good fans actually um, however they they are not led uh, capable or rgb capable um, so just keep that in mind uh, now in terms of the tubing it is definitely very flexible and kink resistant you would certainly have to bend it quite a lot for there to be any sort of blockage in liquid flow and then moving on to the pump unit itself, of course, we have the 60 millimeter LCD display, which is really the talking point of this AIO. This is encased by a very high quality black plastic, which is pretty scratch resistant. And then the back plate is made out of copper, which seems to be par for the course for AIOs of this type. Now for the display itself and those options that you have uh, in the CAM software, you can just have it display the metrics like temperature, for CPU, GPU, liquid. Uh, you can have it display load usage and so forth. And you can even cycle through these if you so want. And there is a myriad of color options uh, at your disposal within the CAM software. So again, if you have a certain colored theme uh, build, then you can coordinate it with that relatively easily. In addition to that, um, the real talking point is that you can load GIFs to the display. Uh, and it's really easy to do this. I was very surprised. All you need to do is just download your GIF open up the cam software, go into the lighting area, and then uh, within that, you're going to choose uh, GIF, and then you just simply upload the GIF that you just downloaded it and you crop it to uh, your needs, and it displays. It looks really good too. It's a very bright display, and unless you get up very close, you, you likely will not notice any pixelation. Um, so that's really good. Now, in terms of whether or not I think that this is worth the $250 to $280 price tag. Um, for me, yes. Now, to be honest with you, this costs more than the CPU. I have a Ryzen 5 2600, and I put this uh, on top of that CPU. A lot of people would call me crazy, say that I could have put that money in a better uh, graphics card or updated or upgraded the CPU, put more RAM, etc. And they're right. But again, you can't really put a price tag on aesthetics. And the real reason why I bought this was just so that I could display GIFs and have a cool AIO display. For a lot of people, that's corny. For me, it's definitely worth my while. And I think that NZXT knows that. I think what they're targeting here are aesthetically minded individuals that uh, really put a lot of emphasis and care into how their rig looks and are willing to pay an extra $100 just so they could have an LCD display. Um, now. As of right now, there is really limited options in terms of another cooler that has a, a display like this. There are a couple others, but really they don't do it nearly as well and uh, nearly as intuitive or, or fluid as you can do with this and the CAM software that's paired with it. In terms of uh, decibel level and noise, it's pretty much like any other AIO. If it's under a heavy load and the, uh, the radiator fans are going at full blast, it is definitely very loud. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but 
you do definitely have some control with that as well. Within the cam software, you can control um, the fan speeds, the pump speeds, and you can control as to what temperatures you want to trigger increases or decreases in that particular pump or fan speed. So you have a lot of control over um, how fast things are getting and under what load or what temperatures you would like for that to be ramped up. Now for me, I tend to just keep it on silent mode unless I am doing some heavy gaming and then I go into the configuration that I customized. And um, to be honest with you, it, it very rarely, I don't think that I've ever gotten to a temperature that has um, needed to go to uh, full blast for the radiator fans, uh, nor for the pump. And I do actually have this CPU overclocked, so that's surprising. Uh, it, it does keep the temperatures very low, as you would expect, uh, like probably any other cooler on the market of this size. Um, but really what you're getting here is a lot of uh, aesthetic and visual options that you can't get from another um, AIO. I do wish that they would put this in a white version as well. I, I really had a hard decision to make between getting this or getting the Corsair. Uh, I think it's an H100i, which comes in a white. And actually it was kind of uh, a decision as to which one I thought would actually look better. The all white without an LCD display or a black. Uh, which I'd probably prefer in white, but it does have this cool LCD display that I can load GIFs to and, and so forth. And ultimately I went with this. Um, again, would I recommend this? I would only recommend this to somebody who has the money to spend on it, thinks that it's worthwhile for the visual customization options, but do I think that this cooler is going to give you any better performance than something that probably costs half its price? No. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope you liked the video. I know that it was short, but I just wanted to give you uh, the nitty gritty as to whether or not I thought that it was worth your while. Uh, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, uh, and thanks a lot for tuning in.